Today's day five. Unfortunately, it's raining, and I'm back to my trainer. Um, I still have three days left. I'll probably gonna target like 60 to 80 today, and hopefully by tomorrow we can do the uh, Selatar loop. Um, so this um, day five is going to be very quick since I already show you on my day three how I do my indoors. Hence, I'm just gonna be doing. Uh, this um, indoor trainer today very quickly but still creating this video so that at least you are aware that my day five is actually an indoor and outdoor and yeah just enjoy the music and I'll post it up there what's Um, if you wanted to do indoor trainer, you can do different approach. Either you um, get the expensive ones or the uh, cheaper ones. Um, expensive ones are the ones that can provide you like a almost the same experience um, that you can experience the gradient, the elevation when you activate your org mode on your indoor trainer trainer application. And um, the other alternative is a power trainer, which is the one I'm using. Um, I have a separate video on that one, which is the Magin T100. Um, since um, my purpose is really to just uh, be able to have a consistency to ride almost uh, every day or every other day to improve my posture and all other sorts of my cycling training, I am just using a power trainer, T100. And normally spend like 30 30 minutes so let's go to the basic I'm not gonna try to make a long video so the basics are as follows um, number one that's the McGee power trainer T100 um, it basically allows me to capture my distance my power and uh, that's it um, and I have a separate sensor which is a wow cadence uh, let me which is this one um, to allow me to capture my cadence now the most important piece of this or it's actually an option if you just want it you can actually still do trainer without any software but the other important stuff that you need is the uh, software that you're going to be using uh, for my case I'm using the um, um, Zwift application it's a licensed one um, which is connected to my Strava and since I'm already pointing to my iPad the second one is additional device which I use for streaming videos or any other sort such other stuff like I can watch trainings I can watch other YouTube um, vloggers that talks about my interest so that I can make sure that I'm preoccupied because doing indoor training is boring because you're gonna be sitting in the same place all throughout. Now, some other important stuff that you also need is the sweat guard. This is just to protect your bike because uh, your sweat is gonna potentially impact the the screw of your the screws or any metals in your bike. So this one's the purpose is basically to protect whatever is going to hit by your sweat. Now the uh, other piece that you need is a, a towel so that you can always um, use it if you are really perspiring and um, yeah these are just optional water um, actually it's not optional water is not optional you need it um, speaker is optional in case you want it to be entertained and um, one of the reason why I'm using a towel it's because sometimes I am on PT position if I just wanted to just uh, try to train on a TP position like this so I can spend like minutes doing this 
position. Um, it's actually a comfortable position for me. Um, normally I do this if I just wanted to um, just cruise around, get a good. Um, so when I'm cruising, this is how I look like. Uh, and uh, this is a very comfortable position for me. Hence, I do have my towel. So those are the basic stuff uh, that you need if you wanted to do Inder Trainer or if you are new to Inder Trainer. So you need a trainer, you need a bike, um, you need a towel, a sweat, board, iPads, software, water, and uh, before I actually forget, I forgot to mention that I'm using a block as well. So the block prevents the front tire to be moving around and it also helps you to add some additional height so that at least your bike is not tilting forward. Okay. Status check. We're currently at 58.8 kilometers, um, two hours and 18 minutes since we started. Um, once we reach 60 kilometers, um, we just have to complete additional 20 kilometers to achieve the 80 kilometers today. And uh, hopefully by tomorrow, if we can do a RTI or the next day, the day after tomorrow, we can do an RTI to achieve at least 120 and we should be done. Okay, we are now 60 and I'm gonna be updating you once we reach 100. I'm sorry, 80, not 100. Quite a few downhill sections to rest. We've entered the 79 kilometer mark, so I'm gonna do a okay, quick wrap up here. Um, this is my day five, and uh, the reason why I start, I decided to do indoor is because it's raining a while ago, and uh, the target is 80, and uh, hopefully by tomorrow we should be done. So just waiting for me to reach the remaining 500, 400, and I'm gonna be doing the final sprint. Today. and I'll be rocking up. So if you're still here, please and thank you for staying.